Hey folks, PC7 here, and welcome back to the channel. And today we are back looking at Farm Expert 2016. We did manage to finish off the tutorial in only six episodes. My goodness. Um, thoughts on the tutorial? Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> it pretty much covers it. It's, um, not so much a tutorial as it is a, uh, a medieval torture. Um, it shows you the very basics of how to do the standard grain farming and beyond that um, it shows you just how far you need to drive to do things and how much gas and expense there is involved in driving so uh, yeah not great we ran into a lot of different physics types bugs now granted they are patching the game I will give them that okay um, I think we're on version 2 where are we here? 2.20 and that was as of the 25th of June so a patch as of just this morning actually um, little bug fixes here and there if you look through the steam forums they are plagued with bugs and perhaps this should have seen early access before it saw full release now once you've finished your tutorial and or career mode you can come to this particular screen and you can choose a country <laughs> you can choose a country of the alps which i assume would be a european based map midlands which i'm going to again assume would be a usa map and fruit company which is the dlc i paid for now this here <laughs> really kind of makes me suspicious of this day one now we know day one DLC has been batted back and forth is hey you know once a game is done there's a lot of people in the company don't have a lot to do so they produce some DLC and it ends up being released because it's ready by release date uh, usually that doesn't mean it's integrated right into the menu system etc that usually means it's in the game but if you want to play it you're paying so short story I paid for this let's go there now uh, oh <laughs> well there's a happy looking crew now why didn't we see one of those in the tutorial like I have no idea what the well I do I mean obviously that's uh, how you get people to hand pick your fruit in this case it would appear to be terribly drawn apples um, but yeah that little tractor oddly enough they do start you with and apparently in fruit orchards you're only allowed to use certain small tractors they're not terribly sp anyway we'll get into that in a minute because I see we're almost finished loading the game I keep trying to I'm moving the mouse trying to uh, pan the picture while I look at the rest of the orchard yeah I'm pretty much an idiot all right moving right along here we are so this is the uh Oh my goodness, the lighting sure comes up slow. This is the farm that they have given us. Yeah, I call it the pink farm. But uh, yeah, all the flowers are pink. Oh my. Why is this back here? This loaded an entire new... Um, yeah. I'm pretty sure this load did not continue my game. That may well have been my own fault. I might have picked the wrong setting. <laughs> but here you go. When you jump into the vegetable the city of uh, vegetable or whatever the heck they call it fruit market or whatever um, this is the farm it is just like the other one there are things you need to build like your gas station as you can see our uh, fuel station is currently just a pile of logs I take it those are building materials <laughs> sort of the same thing here you have all the building materials to put together well this might be the fuel station but uh, you have, yeah, your storage, etc., 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 right? Um, oh, here's your home fuel station. I think those are just the building materials, right? Vehicle storage, which you do actually get one, but you can uh, upgrade it, of course. You get a fuel refinery, which you, of course, have to build. This would be your Mamu Mamu. Is it? Oh no, this is uh, your home storage, which you, is owned by somebody named Default. I'm going to find that guy make him sell me all this stuff. Um, these are the pink trees. We have a potato and sugar beet storage. We have our silos to work on. 
is they give you the beginnings of cow farm but you can upgrade it of course uh three versions two upside grades blah 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 here we've got dung storage dung 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 no and over here we've got really leaky dung storage or slurry liquid manure i like the models you know well i don't like that green stuff but i like the other one and here of course we have grass storage so um goats and sheeps all of that happiness this one would be a horse stable for your horses hello the ponies moo nice horsey all right so that's uh the basicities of what you get it's a whole bunch of pretty much nothing because everything has to be built so here's your bird cages birds live here <laughs> eggs and plumage are collected from here come in three version basic and two sized upgrades so you can collect plumage as well now well, that's neat oh look ha huh. i can't jump in there i can't get any closer to them but there's our ducks what a fine looking group of ducks they are i'm thinking three males two females interesting combination all right so uh oh no i'm stuck in the duck pit <laughs> let me out it's not working <laughs> oh that's creepy follow the yellow brick road all right now equipment i have wandered all the boot the farm and here's what i found this little uh, Galadhon kind of looks like a Massey, don't it? But uh, yeah, we got this guy, the 4770 CF, and this, which of course we get no explanation from. Um, I'm assuming this is a kid's ride on toy. No, it, it actually it appears to be a tree planting device. You see, it's got a single plow furrow in the center. There we go kind of hard to get the right angle but it, it, take my word for it it does um, and we start with this which is also a Galadhan and I'm thinking it's a Massey with a uh, sprayer uh, possibly a sprayer of some sort of description on the back of it and that's it oh and twenty thousand dollars so <laughs> now let's get in this thing do, 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 do. and uh, CBT again so we'll need to do this to back her up Ooh. there we go it is a Xena Lysius X6000 hmm okay that didn't really tell me a whole bunch uh oh okay there you go yeah it's a tree planter carrying zero pieces cherry seedlings capacity 860. ha huh. all right so now we know what that thing is and or does so uh i'm gonna lower it back down and i'm gonna drop it off okay so we know what that is now what i think i'd like to do and I actually had this set up and yeah my mistake I must have blitzed through the menu and gone to a brand new one but uh, I was actually had this machine parked at the, uh, the machine shop so we could simply teleport over there and have a little looky boo now <clears throat> although the tutorial itself you see as you can see um, nothing from the tutorial <coughs> <coughs> oh excuse me nothing from the tutorial um, made it through to your levels your progresses you can see I'm now a driver zero progress zero etc etc um, the tutorial end of it you can go back to the stuff that you didn't really get to um, I think because it, it only takes you as far as har harvesting 
um, orchardry, alright? Every field you own can be turned into an orchard and vice versa. Uh, animal breeding, but I think these just tell you about these things. Alright, collection centers. Upgrading machines, pad menu. Uh oh. Oh, that's this. Okay, fields displayed using field tab. Visit agro stores. You don't need to drive to them. Oh. So if we go fields and we go here. Maybe I should be, uh, hang on a sec here. Maybe you can't teleport your vehicle. Let's just try this again, shall we? I didn't see this before, guys, or I would have, uh, I would have certainly done this. Like, tried it out. No, that doesn't seem to do anything. Buildings, no. Is it just the agri stores you can go to? No, that brings that up. And closes it completely, of course, when you try and get out of it. So, uh... Hmm. Well, I don't know. Uh, tabbing in the mouse button. Yeah, see, and then... The only way to escape this menu, or to go back, is to hit escape, which completely takes you out, and then you've got to find your way back through again. So, uh, using field tab, you can also remotely, no need, just click their icon on the map. Okay, so, go to M. Simply click their icon on the map. Fruit reloading platform, crop collection center, home storage. So let's say we wanted to go to the bank. Okay, that's clicking on it. Alright, that seems to put a marker on it. That removes the marker. But I want to go here. No, clicking on these things does nothing. That just brings that up, and then of course you gotta escape out of the menu and go back in and go to fields. Alright, well, let's put a marker on there. The heck with it, if they're gonna be that way about it. Climb back in our little tractor. It goes exactly as fast as the big tractor, by the way. So, yeah, it's not like, uh, can I actually get through there, or are they kidding me? Oh, I think I actually can. Yahoo. So we're going to go down to the machine shop, because one of the things that they had locked away from us the last time, for whatever reason, was in fact... Um, what was available to purchase. Sorry, I'm just trying to see here. Like, again, you know, I've got that thing clicked, but it's like you can just randomly find your way there as far as we're concerned, unless you want to go over the mountain. Which I don't, because we found out there can be hidden traps. That looks like a big greenhouse that no one finished, either that or a way to cover the uh, silo. So yeah, we are going to uh, head up here to the machine shop. As I say, the uh, developers do seem to be running patches. They're not uh, maybe all that quick to uh, jump on everybody's bug reports and such so far as responses go, but then when they do release patches, they do seem to have actually listened, although some of it seems to be just blither, to be honest with you. you know, we fixed this that did that, and you look through and nobody said anything about that being a bug, but who knows, I'm sure they have their own testers, and maybe they're further through that they're finding things we are not. Boy, 
boy, oh boy, I'll tell you. Wherever this place is, I would fire the entire municipal staff and hire new ones. Because if they think these roads are up to par, I got news for them. <laughs> you know, having the center of the road is the high point, and then having them slope down is one thing to drain water off the road, but man, the angle these things slope at, half the time you're in like a 15 degree tilt in your tractor. It's hilarious. Um, the slipping and sliding with the cultivator, apparently all large machines do that. The bigger the machine, the worse the effect. Um, it's something they are apparently looking to fix. So, that wasn't just me being a whiny little bit of, uh, <laughs> I know I was going to say something else, but, alrighty, it's a good thing they don't put anything close to the farm. Alright, there we go, we're almost there, guys. We are almost there. And we do get to see a little bit of, uh, the map. I don't know what that is, I don't know that it's actually anything. Um, let's have a look here. Yes, it doesn't matter. We're down here. Well, there's a fruit processing plant off to one side and a petrol station off to the other. But, see, I guess that could be a fruit processing plant. See, we're drifting backwards. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, they need to work on the physics in this game. So, yeah, things like uh, vehicle descriptions in the shop and such, there was a lot of complaints about that. I'm not sure I'm that happy with the uh, developer's answer on it. You know, that they're working on bug fixes, adding content, i.e. tool tips and stuff on some of the vehicles. Yeah. Um, would be taken care of at a different patching. Right now they're working on bug fixes. Well, I don't think having uh, tool tips on your... Having tool tips on your gear is exactly uh, added content. It's something that should be there before the game is ever released. So now, let's have a look. Um, Again, this is all they start us with, $20,000, which, as you'll see, doesn't really buy you anything. Um, there's the tractor we've got sitting in the farmyard, and it's 65 k Now, okay, the only one they show us for sale is that. I'm just wondering, because I would much rather have uh, a front loader than just a straight tractor. So here we is our choice for tractors. We have Galadhons, Altas, Winstons, uh, Blenders, <laughs> another blender, completely different color combos, and one Lindner Geotrack. So they've got a license for Lindner, and they give us one tractor, 125k. It's the biggest tractor they offer. Wow. So, 55, 85, 40k for either of these. Um, wow. Why would you not buy this one? Oh, I see. Yeah, why would you not? Uh, manual gearbox or CVT. Okay, that's the difference. Because this is only, uh, right, for the same price. You're getting another 40 horse on this guy, but it's a manual gearbox. Alrighty. Combines. Let's move along here. Uh, Galadhan again. A bunch of corn headers. Right up to a 12 row, 9.1 meter. Yeah, that's the biggest head for that, and a 12 row corn header. Then we've got a slightly different one. Uh, larger. Yeah. Much bigger unit. Or this guy. Hmm. And then just a ton of headers again. We have a Carl Napstrooper. And he has his own set of headers. Hmm. And then we have a corn chopper, which I assume is a forest harvester. Harvester, sorry. Oh no, for corn harvester. No. 
these will harvest corn as well. That's got to be forage. Trailers. We have crampes. We have <laughs> friedel instead of flegel, I guess. Hmm. And then quite a whack. Wow. 14,000? Really? That trailer looks huge. So our biggest capacity would be 18,000. And we got quite a whack of balers. Holy smokes. 60k, 40k. Uh, they range from 20k to 60. Wow. Bale trailers. A couple of different sizes. And then we got a loading wagon. Nice. For groundwork, we have plows. From the J23 at 12,000, right up to, here's an 85, 130k. Wow. Uh, plows, Vogel and Newt. I'd be more tempted for something like that. 20k. Subsoiler. Hmm. I would assume that's some kind of plow. Ooh. And then cultivators. From 20k right up to 116. Hmm, quite a few different. I get some lemkins. Nice. Uh, do 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 do. There's a 12 meter lemkin for 60k. Post harvest disc harrow. Wow. Post harvest rotary harrows. Soil rollers. Hmm. But yeah, there's absolutely. See, there's no sort of info at all. Like. You know, why is this 12,000 and this 6,000? I mean, what do they do to start with? And secondly, you know, okay, this is 9 meters, this is 3 meters. But, you know what I mean? Like, there should be something, something. And if you go to buy, well, I can't because I've only got 20k. Well, I could buy that, but the problem is that's what it does. If you click buy, it just buys it. So, planters and cedars. We have a bunch that do only rape, pea, sugar, and beets. And then we get into these guys, which do wheat, corn, barley, right, peas, soy, lupin, and grass. So they don't do sugar beet, I see, or corn, right? No, they do corn, they just don't do sugar beets. Then, of course, you have uh, separate ones for potatoes. There we are, potato planters. So, uh, mind you, your, wow, cheapest potato planter, this little tiny guy here, is 40k. So no money in it we've got spreaders from okay here's crop protection sprayer this is the one that's currently on the back of the tractor that we have 122k for the big guy hmm potatoes and beets we have all kinds of different harvesters wow uh, looks like you can get into harvesting beets for as little as $90,000. <laughs> wow. And aboriculture. Orchard sprayers. Orchard harvesters. Grass mower. Orchard mower. Mulchers. Orchard platform. Pepple 6. Which we'll assume is people. Say, oh look, 15k. We can actually afford to have a thing that a bunch of people stand around on. And yet it's 19k for one that takes four people. Okay, it's kind of weird. Here's our tree planter. Nice. Uh, this is our orchard tractor. Well, this is a different orchard tractor. And then we have a pallet trailers. All right. And others. We have bale wrappers and mowers. Oh, and some rakes, tedders, toppers. <laughs> Look at the car. Ooh, Nelly. Oh, I guess it's a truck. Okay. And we have a telehandler. We have a trailer for headers and ooh, a semi trailer. The ice diamond. Hoo hoo fancy. And a truck. Well there you go. Um and it doesn't appear there's any used gear. Now I don't know what was included in that package that I bought or the the free DLC one they don't really tell us what uh, may or may not have been a part of that so but there you go 
I definitely wanted to have a look at that. Oh, holy smokes, I must be heavy. I just about tipped the tractor over getting into it. All right, I want to get back to the road. We'll just go over and have a quick look at that uh, fruit harvesting player factory because that's something that won't be on everybody's map. So, oh, there we go. We'll move that over to there. Now we should have a generalized direction. So I guess not a bad vehicle selection. Although as we've seen, if you're only going to make three, four grand off a field, you know, and you need uh, five hundred thousand dollars worth of gear to get it, and all they start you with is a tractor, kind of makes me wonder how do you get there from here. Um. Yeah, I think we'll uh, take this odd bit of a dirt road down, shall we? Okay, is it fenced all the way around or can I actually get in through here? It looks like I can. Nice. Alright, so this is this fruit facility. Hmm. Press enter for fruit processing plant. Uh, I was hoping it would be a little more hands-on than that. Well, let's see what enter brings us. Okay, goods stored in the plant. Unload fruit to processing, unload, oh, transport goods from plant to trailer, unload trailer back to plant. Hmm. So frozen fruits, cans of fruits, liters of syrup, and kilograms of jam. Now from what I understand, the way this works is when you drop fruits off, the first thing they do is freeze it. And then over a period of time, they make the can, the syrup. But these, I think, are all things you either have to upgrade... Um, or buy outright. I think that uh, if we go to the tutorial here and go to where are we? Fruit Company. Yeah, here we are. Pretty uh, new world, including new buildings, upgrades, vehicle functions, and game mechanics. You're giving control of a new building, the Fruit Company. That's where we are now. Uh, initially only freezes fruit for transport and resale, but it can be upgraded to produce canned fruit, juices, syrups, jams, and marmalades. So there we are. Products are ready overnight, a day after the fruits have been transported. Uh, if you have TIR and a TIR trailer, you can pick up goods produced by the fruit company and sell them at much higher prices at the train station depot okay so there you go <laughs> a little more on that one um, well it's a pretty snappy big place isn't it not all kinds of loading and unloading areas but it's all the exact same thing apparently because that's all I'm getting is press enter for fruit menu these are really good speed bumps, check them out. <laughs> oh, yeah, those are impressive speed bumps, I can see why they put those there. So there we go, this is uh, apparently what you get with the DLC, this and a bunch of machines. So keep in mind when we were at that machine store, okay everybody, make sure your seat belts are on. Another speed bump, oh, yeah, um, hmm. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I think the uh, Fruit and Berries mod for Farm Sim 15 probably goes further than this does right away. But we will see how that goes because I will be working this particular map. Um, yeah, I know. The tutorial was not a lot of fun. I'll give it that. But we are going to figure out um, how to carry on from there. So next time around, I will start a new... Um, and it, look, <laughs> he jumps two inches in the air and he groans like he was leaping over a car. <laughs> he can barely get up high enough to climb in the door. All right. So yeah, next time around, I will be starting a new. Uh, oh goodness, a brand new uh, play of this, and we will be doing the fruit company. So, um. 
leave comments down below guys let me know what you think uh, it's like I said the game's gonna need a bunch more patches hopefully they don't put a patch in that'll break our saves once we get started but uh, yeah that's the plan we are gonna work the fruit company system just to see what it offers because it seems everything else is pretty much a pro farmer 14 clone and uh, well we played that game so there you go that's gonna do it for this episode guys it is kind of a neat little tractor Personally, I would have taken that roll bar and put it here. <laughs> and yeah, that almost looked like a loader console. I was going, hey, but no. Anyway, till next time then. Oh my, that's an awkward looking three-point hitch. I guess you just reach behind you and connect it by hand. <laughs> yeah. Till next time, guys, this has been Species 7 for Expert Farm 2016. We are here on the fruit map. <laughs> I love it. So, take care of each other, folks. Hit the likes, hit the shares, the favorites, all that happy youtube -y stuff. Ooh, hang on, there's an info button here. Here we go. Fruits are processed here and can be sold with better profit, can be upgraded to produce different goods. Well, I'm glad we didn't miss that before I logged out. Alrighty, I'm out of here for now. Take care of each other, folks, and ciao. Hmm. <laughs> Big fancy place. <coughs> <coughs>